All right, so the recount here um, has a clip of Bernie. He went on the Sunday show. Senator Bernie Sanders skewers, good word, Senator Joe Manchin over Manchin saying no to climate change provisions. This just happened recently. Every time there's some sort of uh, policy conversation going on with Joe Manchin, there's always like a round of stories like, Joe Manchin is open to X, Y, and Z. Hooray! And then immediately after, they're like, and he rejected all of it. That, I just I see that all the time. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to what Bernie says here. People like Manchin, Cinema, Cinema to a lesser degree, who are intentionally sabotaging the president's agenda, what the American people want, what a majority of us in the Democratic caucus want. Nothing new about this. And the problem was that we continue to talk to Manchin like he was serious. He was not. This is a guy who is a major recipient of fossil fuel money, a guy who has received campaign contributions from 25 Republican billionaires. Whoa. So he's intentionally sabotaging the agenda, and Bernie's making the case, in no uncertain terms, the reason this guy's not going to budge on it is because he's paid not to budge on it He's corrupt. He's listening to his donors, which are 25 Republican billionaires in the fossil fuel industry. And he gets personally rich off the fossil fuel industry. Go read that article from The Intercept, Joe Manchin's Dirty Empire. So, okay, this is a big deal. Bernie is, it seems like he's now agreeing in full with an argument that I've been making since the very beginning of these talks and the negotiations around Build Back Better. And... Holy shit. Now, look, it's very late. It is very late. But Bernie is saying Joe Manchin is not a good faith actor. He's not. He's a liar and he's serving his bosses, which are the donors. Well, thank you, Bernie. Now, the question is, what do you do with this information? Now, Bernie had a little hint of the right strategy back during the Build Back Better negotiations where he wrote an op-ed that ran in a West Virginia newspaper that made the case like, hey, dog, you a real West Virginia Democrat? Well, this is what West Virginians support, so you better support Bill Back Better. And there were reports behind the scenes that Joe Manchin was livid about that. He was livid about it. Now, that made Bernie and the other Democrats sort of back off and try a different approach. No, the reason why he was livid is because it had the potential to work. You were embarrassing him. You were shaming him, which was pushing him in the direction to fall in line. And then you backed off. You took your foot off the gas pedal. That was a mistake. Look, I've said it from the beginning. I'll say it again. It's very simple. You do the character stick approach with Joe Manchin. So you let him know. And this is specifically for President Biden. I'll get to more on him in a second. But President Biden could have called Joe Manchin to the Oval Office and said very clearly, I'll be your best friend or I'll be your worst enemy. I'll be your best friend or I'll be your worst enemy. So... Um, if you do the right thing, namely vote for Build Back Better, vote for the agenda, um, do you want a position in my administration? Does somebody in your family want a position in my administration? Do you want the full support and backing of the Democratic Party for your next election? Um, do you want a statue of you in West Virginia where you're called a hero? Do you want us to make you a Democratic hero? Well... The possibilities are endless in terms of the support you will get from us. Endless. So if you do the right thing, that's what happens. If you do the wrong thing, Merrick Garland is investigating your daughter and your family because your daughter is a price gouger who works for a big pharma company and she's caught dead to rights on email talking about how we need to price gouge. Um, specifically, I think it was for insulin. And... Um, Look, I could call off the hounds here. I could tell Merrick Garland, hey, dog, you got to back down a little bit. I need this. Or if you do the wrong thing, maybe you're investigated. Maybe you're indicted. Maybe you go to prison. Maybe your daughter goes to prison. Maybe your wife goes to prison. She's involved in a lot of these scandals as well. Maybe we'll investigate you for where the uh, all the money's coming from for your campaign. Now, look, I know you're a careful dude, but you're telling me there's not a single campaign finance violation that went on? Not a single one. Not a single one. That's what you do. That's what you do. You make him do the right thing. You make the path of least resistance doing the right thing. That was the only way to deal with him. Because he's not an honest actor. He's not a good faith actor. He will only respond to political pressure. And you know what? Ultimately, he would have negotiated. There would have been something that was reasonable that he would vote for. And then everybody wins. And Joe Manchin's a hero. And hooray, isn't that wonderful? Joe Manchin did the right thing. They didn't do that. Now, to Bernie, I would say this. 
okay, now you're viewing Manchin accurately. Why are you not viewing Joe Biden accurately? Now, so what's the case with Joe Biden? Because I'm not going to lie to you guys and say he's the exact same as Joe Manchin. He's not. There are differences. And if you're not acknowledging those differences, you're waging a war on nuance and you're actively being dense. So what are the differences? The difference is this. Joe Biden, in his heart of hearts, in my opinion, he didn't want the full original Build Back Better package to get through. Why? Because that's not his politics. The original full Build Back Better package was a lot closer to Bernie Sanders politics or it's like diet FDR with how expansive it was. Um, So Biden didn't want that. Biden is much more of a a moderate or a centrist. You know, he's in between the likes of uh, an FDR and a Joe Manchin. His politics are sort of like Obama's politics. He's sort of a milk toast neoliberal. Not as bad as Joe Manchin, who's just a right wing Democrat, but still pretty bad. So I think what Joe Biden wanted to happen was the starting position in the negotiation was Bernie's Build Back Better bill, which had all those wonderful provisions in it. Um, and Joe Manchin was going to come in and negotiate it down. It was $3.5 trillion. Joe Manchin would negotiate it down to $999 billion, And you'd have a slim down package that uh, Biden would agree to. And then that's what gets put into law. And Biden's the happiest guy in the world because he gets something that more reflects his own politics. He was relying on the likes of Manchin and Cinema to negotiate in good faith and chop down that package, which he personally thought was too big and too expensive. Because remember, there were so many things in the original Build Back Better package that were phenomenal. Um, universal pre-K, free higher education for I think it was at least two years, elder care, extended uh, extended child tax benefit, uh, expanded Medicare. I mean, again, the list goes on and on. We don't need to go through all the things here, but Biden wanted to slim that down and get that passed. What Biden did not rely on is Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema just simply not acting in good faith and being totally bought by the donors to the point where they destroyed any potential legislation. So, but it says a lot about Biden that what happened in the final analysis, he was more comfortable getting nothing than forcing through even a slim down package. So ultimately Biden is aiding and abetting the likes of Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema by his fecklessness, his weakness and his inability to shoot for the stars. And so now it's time for Bernie. Okay. You're viewing Manchin accurately now. Now you just have to view Joe Biden accurately. So if Manchin is your enemy and he's corrupt and he's bought by the donors and he's not negotiating in good faith, what's Joe Biden? I'll tell you what he is. He's feckless. He's weak. He's pathetic. And he only ever wanted a massively slimmed down package in the first place. And then when he couldn't even get that, he didn't bother to fight for even a single provision. So I wish Bernie would, for once in his life, take his good friend Joe Manchin, or excuse me, his good friend Joe Biden, and view him in perspective, view him in context. Because if Joe Biden was who Bernie Sanders pretends he is, at the very least, he would have tried to break up Build Back Better, take standalone provisions that Manchin and Cinema say they support, and just try to pass those. Just try to do a standalone universal pre-K bill and try to pass that. Go for it, see what happens. He didn't even bother doing that, because it's work. And it's tough. So why are you not viewing Biden in context? Again, if Biden was who Bernie pretends he is, we're the executive orders. You're not even going to eliminate 10,000 in student loan debt or whatever it is. You're not even going to legalize recreational marijuana or at the very least decriminalize it in the country or at the very least free all the nonviolent drug offenders that are held federally. You're not even going to do that. I'm going to do that. So hey, good, Bernie, you're now seeing Manchin for who he is and what he is, and he's not an honest actor. He's not acting in good faith. He's corrupt. He's serving the donors. Well, for the love of God, view Joe Biden in an accurate way. I'm not saying you view him as equal to Joe Manchin, but he certainly ain't where you want him to be. That's for damn sure. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.